all right fam so we are back at it again with a very interesting video okay i'm not gonna lie this title low-key is like i don't know so the title is she got pregnant with mystery mayo from struggling donor after refusing to date blue collar men yeah that that title is just uh it's a whole bunch of everything i i don't even know what to put into it but basically the story uh if you've seen the title or if you've seen this title in this thumbnail of this video uh abani k i believe that's how you say her name abani k i think she was like on uh, uh like a uh actress or something like that i forgot the movie or the show or whatever i think it was a show it was like how white real wife of hollywood something like that it was something with wife in it okay but basically she got pregnant and she's um and the story is going around saying that she chose to be a single mother so she wants to be a single mother by choice which is pretty weird because most women don't really want to be a single mother by choice you know what i'm saying but anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into the video. This is a video that came out a few days ago. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the notifications. Let's see her thoughts on men. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. I don't know what I just said, but let's go. At this point, it's becoming more apparent that modern millennial women have completely lost their minds. Ebony K. Williams is 40 years old. I will put her on the older millennial side but she wasted a lot of her younger years shoplifting from the mall so she could get clothes and shoes and pretend like she had it like that. Attempting to get white men to like her, but they all kicked her to the curb because she's inherently obnoxious and impossible to get along with. So she's been faking it until she made it, chasing a lifestyle. Remember, she told Ayala she wouldn't date a bus driver. How we can create and not build when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You, would you date if a bus If he owns driver? the bus. If he owns no. it, if he owns the bus, See, that's, a problem. that's a problem. Oh that's a problem okay. because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that, but the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver mm. if he was, if he loved driving the bus, if he was a man of integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well, I would date a bus driver. But we think that it's another human being's responsibility to give us what we need instead of us building together. Ebony K. Williams got some random sperm donor from the donation bank and now she's pregnant. Unbelievable. The same woman who was supposedly so high class and couldn't date a bus driver picked out some random DNA from a possible homeless man or a possible let me powder my nose baser. Because I'm sorry, any man standing in line to donate DNA for $100, $200 gotta be living a real tough, low, broke life. Either that- Nah, that's, that, hey, 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 I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that's real. That's real. You know what I'm saying? First of all, you chose to be a single mother. That's kind of obnoxious. Uh, Second of all, you won't date a bus driver. I'm going to get my thoughts at the end because this is crazy. That or he's a mental nutcase. Chances are he's both. Most of them need the money just like people going to donate plasma. Everybody knows when you go up there to donate the plasma, you got to be on your last $20 bill, your last tank of gas, your last piece of bread, your last piece of air, water, electricity, whatever. Rich people don't show up to no plasma bank or no sperm bank on a normal Monday clocking in like it's a job donating for cash. So yeah, no different from where Ebony went to. Same process. And what's even more silly about this is this woman gloating about the whole experience with People Magazine, you know, like she's conquering the world. It's embarrassing enough to go through this situation, but it's outright humiliating to do this to yourself and put yourself on the jumbo trying to have all of us in your business on purpose for clout. It's very sad, but true. These flamingos will do anything for clout, even get a baby from the DNA of a junkie. We have to really get into this today, but first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Young ladies, listen up. This one is for you. I'm here to let you know this is not normal, no matter how much society is trying to push this weird narrative 1,000% out of order. Okay, so 
Ebony K. Williams is trying to find a way to get everybody to talk about her and get some attention. She's broadcasting all of her dumb personal decisions for people to comment on and try to wiggle her way back to the breakfast club. Ever since the bus driver thing, she's been itching to go viral again. This sick egotistical witch decided she was going to craft up a baby on her own and voluntarily become a single mother because she believes she can raise a child alone and she's got the money to do it. It's funny, we're talking about the same group that supposedly educated the public preaching that money wasn't enough for a child. If a father said he provided for his child monetarily, they would argue that he could still be a deadbeat and label those men as such. Many argue that it's true that money isn't enough to raise a child. The child has to have the guidance of not just a mother, but they need the leadership of a father as well. You know, balance. Something once prevalent in society before the strong black and independent I don't need a man to raise no child, serial baby mamas of 1986 popped up. I'm talking about before it became a norm, especially in the black community, for children to be raised in a single parent household led by women. Now, single mothers end up in that situation for many different reasons. But never have I ever seen so many women choosing that life for themselves and resorting to pick up strange mystery DNA. I'm sorry, this is a new level of pathetic and I don't care how much they try to make this normal, this is weird. And very selfish too. Just because you wanna be a parent doesn't mean you should be. Doesn't mean you're qualified to be. All women should not reproduce. And on the other end, all men should not reproduce. See, when I, when I talked about the standards of a woman, I say that women should have like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I, I personally like a good woman who has good enough standards, realistic standards. If you're telling me that you, me as a man got to make 500K um, uh, a year or you you tell me I got to make some like some outrageous number a year when that's not realistic in today's society. Like that's just not realistic enough. You know what I'm saying? Like you tell me I got to make this amount of much. I mean, you tell me I got to make this much money a year. Like granted, I can make enough to provide and do things like that. But the standards of you saying you don't want to date a bus driver is crazy because what people don't understand is I don't know these, like these, these little celebrities. It's like some of them probably even never work a nine to five. When you are at a nine to five job for some years, bro, and majority of nine to fives work like this. Like for example, the Ford Motor Company. When you work at Ford Motor Company, you come in making twenty one dollars. After I believe it's after three years, you be there. After, yeah, after three years, you be there. You start making forty dollars an hour, uh, and you could pick up as much overtime as you want. It, like uh, I mean, just do the math there. And then after a certain time period, I think you start making, like you go up every three months or something like that. So you could be retiring from Ford making almost, I don't even know what, I don't even know. You could be making a decent amount of money for Ford. You know what I'm saying? And that's just a regular warehouse job. Same thing with Amazon. You work at Amazon, you come in at Amazon making about $18, $19 an hour, depending on where you stay. Chicago, I know you make about, because the, the, the minimum wage out here is a little bit higher, but well, not the minimum wage, but when you go to Amazon out here, you come in making 18, 19 an hour. After three years, you're making, you know, depending on your position, you can make up to about $26 to $27 an hour, bro. After three years of working there. Yeah, you probably, yeah, you got to put in that leg where you got to, you know what I'm saying, be there for a good two, three years. But the point that I'm making here is that you can be, you can have any job in society, not any job in society, but a lot of jobs in society you can have. And you probably could start off making a little bit of money, but then you could start to grow into making more money. You know what I'm saying? But then the fact that you don't even want to hold a man down because right now he's a bus driver. But he, like, like she said, what if he likes driving the bus? You know what I'm saying? What if he likes driving a bus? What if this is something that he always went through his whole entire life? He he may be only making 60, 70 K a year, but 60, 70 K a year, that's more realistic than making 200 K, 300 K, 400 K, 500 K a year. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's possible, but not every man has the same career goals that a lot of other men have. My career goal is too, my career goal is totally different. The career path I want to take, trust and believe me, I'm not making about 500K to a million a year. That's the career path I want to take. I'm not, I, that's just not the career path that, well, my career path is not going to be making that much money. Is it possible? Yeah, it probably is possible, but 
that's not what I'm aiming for. You know what I'm saying? I'm not aiming for a 500K, a million a year. That's just not me. You know what I'm saying? I, I personally, when I look at providing, because I'm married, as, as you see, I am married. So providing comes in multitude of ways. It comes in, you can provide financially, but also you want to sit there, you want to provide for your, your wife or for your spouse. And spiritually, you want to provide in other aspects. You know what I'm saying? Like women, they, they think it's all about money, 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 money. Because you, as a woman, you want to, you know what I'm saying? You want to have that 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 luxury of being a stay-at-home wife and doing nothing and this and that. Granted, that I want that for my wife. You know what I'm saying? But my wife, she's not a person that want to stay at home and just do nothing. She actually want to go to work and do other things. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's a woman that want to create her own business and things like that. But I'm just saying, like, we have to be realistic. And the fact that you have to go out there, get pregnant by some random sperm donor simply because you probably can find the right man to to marry and then to have sexual intercourse with and to get pregnant, you probably can find the right man to do those things because your standards is oh you a bus driver oh I don't want you oh you a you a truck driver oh I don't want you oh you work at a school oh no like come on man let's be realistic here bro like I'm pretty sure you're not even making that much a year to even be talking about what another man is making bro like seriously y'all women like mindset when it comes to providing is like it's crazy dude. It's a lot of y'all running around men and women trying to make another you. You're doing the world a disservice. The planet is struggling enough with you. We don't need you times two. Reproducing more failure, more confusion, more foolishness. One thing I can say about Vivica Fox, she knew she wasn't a woman for a real relationship, for real structure. She knew that already. At least she wasn't this selfish like Ebony to go out and create a whole human being and drag them along with her. I give Vivica that because what Ebony is doing is worse. It's absolutely crazy. Being a parent isn't about you. It's about who, ladies and gents? That's right. It's about the children. Once you bring a child into this world and until you fully raise them to go into the world alone, your life is not your own. It's no longer about you and what you want. There are certain decisions and things you have to do for that child that you're now responsible for. And just because Ebony was too combative to get along with a man, she couldn't attract or keep a man of high quality, the men she wanted didn't want her, this is how you end up in this situation. Let's face it, all the white men said they didn't want anything to do with her anymore, so she decided she didn't need a man at all. Well, this will be fine if she just stayed alone and left everybody out of it. She's not only involving a child now, but she's broadcasting this to everybody. And just because she didn't need a man, doesn't mean that child doesn't need one. The way she's parading this crazy story around with People Magazine talking about an exclusive, showing she's having a baby from some mystery mayonnaise, this is just a whole new level of mentally deranged. Then attempting to push this narrative to other black women to get on board and do the same thing is just outright despicable. Literally doing the devil's work. Well, Ebony K. Williams, she's having a girl, again reproducing another her. Just think of the strong masculine woman Ebony's mother raised. Now Ebony is trying to continue the tradition. Absolutely crazy. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Ebony, she's been pushing black this and black that for a couple of years now. How many of you want to bet her mystery DNA didn't come from a black man? Tell me what you think about this below. Special thank you to Starlet. I appreciate you, Starlet, for all of your support, as well as our brother. Dar all right. I'm going to stop it right there. Oh, man. Well, it's not even that much to finish. You know what I'm saying? It's only like a few minutes left, like probably like 30, probably like 15 some minutes. I don't know. Anyways, um, <laughs> like I was saying, when it this whole situation with uh, Ebony K, it, it, it's crazy. And I agree with everything that this woman was saying from Pink Book Lessons. I agree with everything she was saying because, again, now she she's what, she definitely is not ready to be a mother. Because and the reason why I say that is because I feel like it's some areas that Ebony K still has to mature in with her mindset. She could be. That, that's why I say age don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Age don't matter. The woman is 40 years old but still thinking this in this childish manner. You know what I'm saying? Like, age truly don't matter on the amount of wisdom that you truly have. You know what I'm saying? Because I have a lot of wisdom and I'm only 21. But this girl, this woman is, is 40 years old and she thinks the way that a 20, uh, a 21 girl, a 21 year old girl will think. You know what I'm saying? But if she chooses to be a single mother, then by all means, go ahead. 
be a single mother and let and let us know how that works out for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you are you are about to be a single mother and you think because you do have the money and everything and to afford like a a both a pan, I mean a child definitely needs a father in their life. It don't matter, bro, whether it's a girl or a boy. A a child period needs some type of father in their life. You know what I'm saying? They need a father, not just a mother. And I understand you're raising a girl and you think, oh, I'm raising a girl. I can teach everything about being a woman. But the fact that you're still childish in some ways that you have, and I'm not saying that she can't mature. She can definitely mature, hopefully soon. But she could definitely mature in the way that she thinks. But to even portray the the think pro the thinking process that she has onto another child or to onto another girl it's bro it's gonna be damaging for that girl bro it's gonna be damaging and I, I don't want that girl to grow up thinking it was okay for her to go ahead and uh get her a sperm donor and she feel like oh i don't need a man i don't need a man like the reason why she the reason why ebony k had to do what she had to do was simply because like the like the girl said from pink book lessons is that and if y'all don't know people that's the channel that i'm watching but uh like the girl said is that she the high value man that she consider high value and want it they didn't want her you know what i'm saying they didn't want her maybe the high value man that she truly wants in life is like it's not meant for her you know what i'm saying and maybe it is a high value man that probably wants something like that but come on bro a lot of man in general wouldn't want a woman like this you know what i'm saying a woman that's saying she wouldn't date a bus driver a woman that's saying that a man gotta make this amount of money a year and this and that like let's be realistic in today's economy in today's society like the amount of money y'all women are asking for us men to make is just unrealistic bro i'm not saying it can't happen but come on now it's like the small percentage of men is making a million a year bro the small percentage of men and they literally did a lot of hard work to get to where they at but it's not saying that a man that is making about what let me say let me let me say a man that is making 70 to 80k a year is not high value that right there is a high value man a man that's making 70 80k a year that's a lot of money like how much like like i'm just confused what you want the man to make all the money so you could just spend all the money like come on let's be realistic here you know what i'm saying but y'all let me know what y'all think about this com in the comment section below hit the like button subscribe to on post notifications it's been your boy depend i love each and every one of y'all god bless stay blessed peace